All right, today what we are going to do is some more work over what you did yesterday, which was front end estimation and um, rounding, okay? The rounding part, I'm not gonna spend that much time on because I wanna spend more time on the front end estimation. There are some problems that you're gonna have in today's work and I wanna make sure that you are getting it correctly. Um, first of all, they had a problem. Now, with front end, there are two parts to it. Part one, and I'm gonna do part two over here. Okay, part one is taking the number that is in the front without changing it whatsoever. Don't round it, don't do anything with it, just leave it alone. All you're gonna do is take that number and add it. So I know nine and one is 10, 10 plus eight is 18, okay? Then I have this 59, 92, and 45, okay? And what I have to do with those is I need to round those. I'm gonna round them to the nearest 10. And this is part two, okay? So 59, Dante, what does it round to? 59. What would it round to? Nearest 10? 60. 60. So I'm gonna put point .60. They got 92. Jackson? 90. Rounds to 90. And Sasha, 45? 50. Now, if I add those, I'm going to get 11 to 2.00, right? If I come back over here, make sure I got all my decimal points, my zeros in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take part one and part two and add them together. And I will end up with 20.00. Now, I told you before, I told my class this. This is like having the dollars. I'm taking all the dollars. I'm not rounding them, changing them, doing anything else with them. And then in my other pocket, I've got change. I've got quarters, nickels, and dimes. Okay, so when I'm coming out with an estimate, I wanna first tell how many dollars I got, and then I wanna give an estimate of the change, okay? This is the estimate of the change is what I'm trying to get across, okay? <clears throat> so you have part one, part two, and that's how you get that. Now, if we were to do rounding, Nine point five nine rounds to what? To the nearest whole number. Ten. Eight point nine two. Anybody? Nine. George. Huh? Nine. To nine. And the last one, one point four five. Kellen? Uh, one. One. 9 and 1 is 10, 10 and 10 is 20. Here's one answer. Here's the other answer. Now, not all the time are you going to end up with the same answer. Okay? If I were to actually add this, I would get 
11, 16, okay, the 1, and 10, and 9, 1, and 10, 9. That's the actual answer, okay? 1996. But I've rounded both times with front end and with rounding and got those. Now, in today's work, in the workbook, you are going to have, it's not telling you to do front end. It's not dealt, telling you to do rounding. You pick. Okay. Whichever one you think is easiest at this point, that's the one I want you to use. Okay. Don't be thinking up here because you should be getting it and it should be getting easier and easier. Okay. Um, so what you are going to do is go ahead and do that. Um, let's do one together just for the heck of it. Let's do three, four, three, point something. Now, if we were to do rounding, just plain rounding, what can I round it to? Because not all the digits are filled in at each place. What could I round it to? George? The hundred. The hundred? See, there's no hundred here. So can I round this to a hundred? Not really. I don't want to. Tens? To the tens. To the tens, not tenths. Good round it to the tens if they said to. All right, so I'm going to round it to this spot. I have to look at the number behind it, right? Okay. So now all of a sudden, this 343.90 becomes what, George? 34? Wait. Close. 340. 340.00. Vanessa, what does the 69.25 become? You're looking at the six, but this number is going to tell it to go up or stay the same. So this would become a So we're going to have 70, right? Lucas? And the 11 can be so one. So it's going to be 210.00, right? Mm -hmm. All I did was I took this, rounded it to that, this to there, this to that. Okay. Now I'm going to add these, 0, 0, 0. I've got 11, 12, 1 would be 620. That is number one in your workbook on page 29. Okay? Now, the way they have it in the book, the answer they gave, they rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay? Instead of rounding to this one, they rounded to this one. And they ended up with 624. Okay? Um, but that's what you're going to be doing today. All right? 